Hi Gemini, it's your honest homegirl Keisha Neek and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Um, so take what resonates, what doesn't, leave for another healing homie. With that said, Gemini, let's get into your intuitive message. Now, when I was shuffling your cards, I was hearing you were either, you had choices of bo bosses. So you may be getting a lot of job opportunities and now you're choosing which boss you want to work for. For some of you, you have the choice to deal with your boss, sleep with your boss, be with your boss in some type of way, or you are the boss and you're talking to one of your employees or messing around with one of them. Make sure they don't, they're not your employee anymore because you don't want to mix business with pleasure. But, um, <clears throat> Do know that, you know, rapid changes are happening in your life. Be mindful, too, of karmic cycles coming back around as well. Um, or there will be karmic cycles coming back around because there's some lessons that you need to still learn from those individuals. Do things accordingly. Stand on your word. Stand on what you told yourself before. So when these exes come back around... Um, you're not sitting here going back in a cycle with them. You need to be very firm and stand on what you said, what you did, whatever the case may be. Um, for some of you, you may be having nightmares at this time. So please be mindful of the things that you watch before you go to bed. Be mindful of the things that you think about before you go to sleep at night. Make sure, um, I'm, I'm seeing for some of you guys, it's best to listen to meditative music before you go to bed or like rain noise or white noise or something like that or watch something funny. For some of you, you need to meditate or you need to do something that grounds you. I do see some of you guys being near the water or going on a vacation soon. Some of you could be dealing with the Aries or a Taurus um, or you could just be dealing with someone that you see as a leader, someone that you know is self-sufficient, someone that you don't mind marrying or allowing to take the lead in some situations, especially dating. Um, or you may be deciding to change your choices in people. You want to date bosses. You want to date people that are about their business, have their ducks in a row, got all their I's, dotted T's, cross type of energy. I'm hearing a whole brand new bitch, but I don't like calling nobody bitch, but y'all be using bad bitches and stuff like that as y'all lingo now. So I guess whatever you would consider, you know, that me, I, I like classic, classy. Okay. Um, I'm a, I'm an eighties baby. So you already know, I like to be called my lady, but not nobody's bitch. Okay. But to each his own. Okay. Uh, if that resonated with you, Gemini, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That's all I ask of you guys. Um, it really helps my channel grow, and it helps support me. Um, and I really appreciate you guys. So if you're a new healing homie, welcome. How are you? And if you're a returning gang, what's up, guys? Um, I really do appreciate you guys so much. If you guys are on Instagram and you like comedy, you know, because I'm a clown sometimes. If you like live readings from me, because I do collective readings and sometimes my healing homies convince me to do zodiac readings so i'll be doing zodiac readings sometimes um on instagram live and then i have rude awakenings and zodiac horoscopes over there too so check me out if you want to see more content from me uh with that said um if you guys need a personal reading too i am open for readings again so check the description box below and let oh you guys could be all over the place right now, Jim and I. So be mindful of that. Take your time, center yourself, ground yourself so you don't miss anything. Um, I tend to feel Mercury retrograde before it even happens. Like during its pre-shadow is when I go through it. And then when it actually hits, it's like I'm good now. Um, I'm out of the clear while everybody else is going through theirs. But um, how I do my readings, I do the intuitive message first, then I do your divine feminine, then your divine masculine energy, and then at the very end, I do random messages that include messages from your person. So if you want the tea on what they're thinking, or what they're, how they feel about you, stay tuned to the end. With that said, let's get into your divine feminine energy. What's going on with Gemini? So this came out on the side. So some of you 
are, you know, ready to rock and roll. You're ready to step up to the plate. You're ready to be this leader. Some of you got a promotion because you're fucking the boss. Uh, for some of you, you know, you're really cool with your boss. So it's like they're promoting you sooner than later. Um, for some of you, you've actually really worked hard. You were self-sufficient and your boss really likes you. So if they had to choose between like seven other people, they chose you. Um, I do feel for some of you guys, you are, your money is increasing, okay? You're definitely doing what it is that you need to do. This could be a change, like out of nowhere, it's like, oh shit, I got the job and this job pays three times more than the job that I have now. Some of you, it's like, oh shit, I sat there and I applied for that position and I actually got it, you know, because you, it was, I'm hearing in-house promotions for some of you. Um, I do feel too, for a lot of you guys, if this is not what's going on with you, some of you may be suddenly losing money, suddenly losing a promotion and getting demoted for some of you. So be mindful of that because it all depends on where you are in your journey. Because some of you, you could have been dealing with some obstacles or you were thinking one thing, but really they were illusions, okay? You were moving forward without knowing certain things and it didn't work out as planned. But for others of you, like you literally walked out on faith and because you walked out on faith and because you believed, you got what it is that you were asking for. And now you're realizing when you stand in your power, you can create whatever world that you really, really want to have in your life. And it's all within your thoughts. That's why you need to watch your thoughts because you can manifest negative things in your finances or you can sit there and manifest positive things within your finances. Um, not even just with finances, but resources and connections with people. It, you could, it, It's like it could go either way for you, but it all depends on you, Gemini, okay? And how you feel inside because your feelings and your thoughts are probably the most powerful thing that you can control, okay? Um, I do feel for a lot of you, the money is coming in, okay? Like if you had zero dollars in your bank account, your check just cleared um, early for some reason. It's like probably your bank change the deposits from Thursday to Wednesday or whatever the case may be. It's like these random changes. Some of you, you may sit there and scratch off some money on a scratch off. Like randomly somebody just gifts you money like here because I love you, you know? And it's like, what is today my birthday type of energy? Um, but accept it. Okay. Don't sit there and question it. If people are wanting to help you gift you in any way, shape or form, you sit there and you let them. And the thing is, a lot of you were patient. A lot of you, you know, you sat in grace and, and you loved yourself and, and, and worked on yourself even when you felt like you was in the mud. And because of that, because you were so determined that even though you were in a place that you did not want to be, you knew deep down inside God was going to get you out of there some way, some shape and form. And it happened for you like that. Okay, for others of you, you know, you believed in yourself, you believed in your business, and because you kept being consistent with everything, you grew. Okay, your personal growth it was your personal gains. So if you put in the work, you did this. And if you haven't put in the work, as long as you continue to put in the work, you will receive these blessings. It's like God tests you to sit there and see, like, okay, I'm gonna put you in this situation right here. I'm going I'm to see how you handle it. Do you sit there and go and do some bullshit? Do you go and go back to your negative ways? Or do you sit there and you progress and you keep moving forward and you don't sit there and go back to your old self? Every time you don't go back to your old self, God blesses you. The minute you sit there and go back to your lower self, your old self, you want to sit there and end up in another situation that you really don't want to be in. For some of you, you were impatient and that's what you did and you missed out on blessings. But... And now you're out here drinking too much, smoking too much for those that did not listen, that did not put in the work. I forewarned you guys in your past readings, you better go check them out. You know, I sat there and I told you, you had decisions to make. You, you had a game plan, whether you were going to do right or you were going to do wrong. And for some of you, you salty about that. Others of you, you're not. You sat there, you wiped your tears. You know, you did what you had to do. 
you decided to put pull up your big boy ooh, your big boy drawers, your big girl panties or whatever. If you're a boy and you wear panties, that's on you too, okay? Ain't nobody judging you because <laughs> I damn sure just about to say that, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of you, you just, it's like somebody put fire up underneath you, whether you did it yourself or somebody else did, and it was like, it was a go. It was a green light. That's all you needed was the motivation, that pep talk, those that support system. Whatever you needed, you received it, and you took off. You did what you had to do. You, now you could celebrate. For others of you, you know, you what you did was, and I ain't going to knock you for it because I do it too sometimes. Like if I'm going through a rough time, I will become a workaholic. And that's what y'all did. And but the thing is, you numbed your feelings and your emotions, and that's something that you're you're probably starting to realize in the month of August that you you made the right decision. You sat there, put all your, you channeled all your energy into your business and whatever it is that you needed to do, but you numbed your emotions. And it's coming to you now. It's probably hitting you. You probably just broke down in tears one day, just realizing like all the things that you went through. And it's like you're finally here. You're finally where you are. And your ancestors or spirit guides, some, some of them may have visited you in some way, shape, or form and told you that. But some of you, you could have really been in your feelings about a Gemini, Libra. Not, well, could have been Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But for some of you, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo male, and you you cut them, them feelings and emotions off because you were guided to do so. Could be a female, too. She could just be a masculine or an alpha female, okay? For others of you, I really just feel like you, you visualize something, and it just happened. And it was like, now you're just like, I can't believe this. Like, I really manifested all of this. Hold on. Let me see if I can put this down for you guys so you can see this. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys, you decided to work with a Leo, okay? Or you decided to go to whatever job you got offered in this month, okay? Because some of you may have got offers last month, um, but you're... You're, you're going to take the courage to decide whichever one has the most money. Whichever one's going to pay you the most, that's the one you're deciding to do. Or the one that offered you a job in this month of August, um, that's the one that you're going to take. For others of you, like I said, I feel like you guys broke down and like you were so numb for so long. And it's like you finally got to your destination or where you finally feel comfortable and you literally broke down crying. And you're like, damn, like I really went through some shit. Like, people don't even know what I went through, like, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And it's like, I'm so great. Like, you broke down crying, like, good tears this time. Like, it was good tears. Because you was holding that shit in so that you could get what you had to get done. And I don't blame you. Because you were at a crossroad and you you saw the possibilities. You saw the possibilities and you ran with it, not even knowing... What was going to be on the other side, but you did. You did. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so freaking proud of you. Or this is going to be your story soon. So if you're going through it, no. It's going to be okay. You don't have... The thing is, you don't have to get hard, okay? You don't have to harden yourself. So if you're going through a tough time right now, don't be hard on yourself. I mean, be hard on yourself when it's time to get shit done like do that push yourself to the limit with that but as far as like you know punishing yourself telling yourself you're stupid for this you're, you're dumb for doing that you shouldn't have did this don't don't do that to yourself put your if, if it takes for you to just put all your energy into work do so at least you'll be sitting there crying in a fucking house at least you'll be crying in a new apartment at least you'll be crying in a new car you get what I'm saying? At least you'll be crying and you're comfortable, but you're crying good tears. You, you're you going to be crying good tears, or some of you, you're already doing that now. You're crying good tears. These are tears of release that you've been holding for far too long. But let's look at your divine masculine side of yourselves. 
Because y'all done put in the work, baby. Y'all literally was all in your divine masculine energy. And now it's like I could finally be soft again. I could finally be a lady again. I know that's right. Even for my men, you finally could sit there and make a home-cooked meal. You could finally get your hair cut, your hair done, like, whatever, you know? And the thing is, you worked so hard. Yo, that's so crazy because this is earned it, okay? You earned it, Gemini. You fucking earned this. You earned this happiness. You earned this joy. You earned all of it, like... You 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 knew you deserved this and you finally freaking got it because you believed you could. It's like everything you're manifesting is coming to fruition. You could get creative now, you can think clearer. Some of you even have a son, you're finding out that you're gonna have a son. Congratulations. Yeah, you did the work the mental and emotional healing some of you sat there and actually utilized reiki for your healing and that helped you as well and i'm hearing helped you see the light it helped you manifest the things that you wanted yeah see you got these changes that already happened for you or they're happening or they're about to you're seeing the changes, okay? You're receiving the messages. You're looking at the things you wrote down, the text messages you may have. I'm seeing somebody like calling themselves or texting themselves or emailing themselves. Like, it's like your future self was talking to you. It's weird how I'm seeing that. It's like, you know, like if it was a movie, it would be two different people, but it's like, it's literally, it was. I'm just seeing you though. And it's like, as you're texting, you're texting, it's like your higher self is texting your lower self. Yeah, a lot of you, you stepped into your divine feminine energy. Even if you're a male, you're comfortable. You're taking care of yourself. When I talk about your divine feminine energy, whether you're male or female, it's about you nurturing yourself, loving yourself, caring on yourself, making sure you're eating right, you're, you're getting enough sleep, you, you're you working out, you, you're making the right decisions for yourself. And this energy, you're going to forever stay in. I'm hearing you say, I'm forever staying in this. I'm forever embodying this energy. I don't want it to go away. I'm going to sit there and you know, I got to sit there and tell you the honest God truth because I'm your honest homegirl, right? Even with you having this energy and it's beautiful, you have to understand even when things don't go your way, you stay in that energy. Through the ups, through the downs, you still embody that energy so you can always have the best outcome. No matter what happens, you, you stay in this graceful energy. Comprende? Okay. Okay. I don't know who just said that. Somebody might be Hispanic, speak Spanish or something. <laughs> Somebody's grandma just said, will always just say that to them or something. You could be dealing with, um, again, I do feel like when it comes, like you're, you're finally taking action towards your emotions now. It's like you put in the hard work, you made the money. Now I can... I'm comfortable enough to deal with the emotional part of the things that I went through. So I do see you being guarded at this time and being at a crossroads because you're like, if I dive into this, these emotions, is it going to take away my luck? Is it going to take... The thing is, I, had to, I was talking about this in a live, about how I wait until I'm in a better space to deal with and process emotions because... I can because my frequency is so high, even if it goes a little low, I could jump right back up versus me being at a low vibration and then trying to deal with emotions. I'm gonna just go even lower and that's over the deep end, right? So don't be afraid. Do little by little. You don't gotta sit there and deal with everything. Just slowly clean out the closet, okay? Take your time. Healing is not a race, it's your pace. All right. 
If it's some of you, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius like yourself, or this is you just came up with like a bright idea on something that, you know, it was going to make you happy and you just did it. You know, you didn't think about it. You didn't call anybody. You just did it and you enjoyed it. Whatever it was that you did, um, it was like random. Okay. Uh, some of you, I feel like you're going to get, I'm, I'm seeing random messages though. Like somebody could be random, be mindful people in the mercury retrograde guys and the thing is it's not a bad thing it's coming back around so you can either shut the fucking door on it it's coming back around so you can sit there and speak your truth and then shut the door it's coming back around if you messed up with somebody it comes back around for you to sit there and and apologize and rectify the situation okay Mercury retrograde is not always that bad. You could be getting a random notice in the mail talking about, hey, you need to get that tune up, get the tune up on your car. If you need to get your oil change, get your oil change on your car. You know, something's coming up where you need to revise something. So you could be getting an email, you know, from a teacher saying, revise this and I'll get your grade. Hot, you'll get a higher grade. Um, it could be anything, you know, there's a lot, anything with re, honestly, is what I sit there and tell people to do. Read, relax, regroup re strategize reorganize you know mercury retrograde is not always as bad as it is but you know one bad aspect of it is that people like to reappear but you handle it accordingly and if you've been doing the work you will if you haven't you might go back to your old ways again you know um but with that said it's like a lot of you manifested this th these changes and the thing is, it happened so fast, it fucking scared you. And that's why you're at a crossroad and you're like, literally, this is the light, this is the dark. And you're right here and you're like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Which way? You, better, you better choose right. You better choose right. Or you will be relearning um, cycles, karmic cycles that you probably already learned because you're smart enough but you, you better move fast and away from that shit oh, um, something wanted me to say move away from that ass <laughs> either way let's look and see what your person has to say to you or again this could be things that you may want to say to this person or these are things that's on your mind or their mind take it how it resonates gemini okay we have can we try something new? Mistake in my love. Solid. Broken heart. Can I taste it? Let's try this again. Psych. Don't wait for me. I don't understand you. Will you marry me? And will you take me back? So that's what could be going on with you, Gemini. Let's get some homegirl advice. We have the love is there. Some of you are not paying attention to your spirit animals. Pay attention to them. And we have what you believe is your truth. And at the bottom of the deck, you are not trusting the process for some of you, Gemini. So if you want to be with the other Geminis that actually put in the work and is blessing themselves. Well, they're not blessing themselves. God is blessing them for putting in the work. But the thing is... You, you, they had to put in the work, so that's why they're getting blessed. And it says, I will ride for you. And God going to ride for you, okay? Your ancestors and spirit guides going to ride for you, but you got to ride for yourself. You got to prove to them that you're willing to put in the work for yourself. Because if you ain't going to make no moves for yourself, what makes you think they're going to make moves for you? And it says, wait, don't rush into action now. Bide your time for better results. So for some of you, you may want to take some time. Waves of prosperity is at the bottom of this deck, okay? Take your time. If you feel like you're not too sure about a decision to make, be in hermit mode. This is the time now to regroup and relax. Get yourself grounded. You see all this green. This reminds me of grounding energy, earth sign energy. Eat green foods, okay? Green smoothies, all right? Get yourself together. So when it comes time for you to make decisions and the right decisions, especially with money and job situations and these offers, you want to be in the highest frequency possible. 
ideal partnership. So for some of you guys, you're going to be attracting your ideal partnership now that you are, you know, more comfortable and you're able to really be yourself and at your best, I'm hearing, at your best. And look, abundance is at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you guys, do it, do the work, and you're going to get it. I love you.